I see the strength 33. Uh, hope uh, all the uh, groups are, uh, all the mini uh, project groups are represented so that you will come to know about the status. Okay, today we'll uh, do the third lab program. And what is the problem statement? Write a JavaScript code that displays the text. This is the text, text growing with increasing font size in the interval of 100 millisecond in red color okay so we will have a one text um, and what is that text text growing is the text uh, that will grow every 100 millisecond and it is in red in color and when it uh, reaches the 50 pt when it reaches the 50 P pt it displays text shrinking so automatically what uh, once it reaches the size of 50 pt automatically it will change to text shrinking and its color will become blue and it will start uh, becoming smaller that is it will start shrinking and until up to it becomes 5 pt that is the problem statement we'll see how that has to be implemented First, uh, we will see the uh, HTML part. Okay, uh, we have this is HTML. Inside the HTML tags, I have head and also I have body. So inside the head, I have all the JavaScript. So head will end here, and in the body, this is the body. Inside the body, I have only uh, two HTML tags. One is uh, uh, the first one is the paragraph P with the ID my P1 and this is the text this is the content text growing and second id second is also a paragraph id is my p2 okay and uh, text shrinking so if i display without any of this javascript what what you will see on the screen you will see two uh, text one is the text growing and below that text shrinking that is what you will see so that is the body part now i have to make sure that the text growing it grows up to 50 pt with the red color and and with the 100 millisecond uh, 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 interval and once it becomes 50 pt uh, 50 pt then uh, the second text shrinking it should start shrinking okay from that uh, point and until it reaches the 5 pt to uh, call a certain uh, method okay uh, there is a one uh, we saw already windows object inside the windows object we have a set interval method what the set interval method will do is whatever the expression you give as the first parameter expression or functions whatever the expression or function you give as a first parameter it will repeatedly call after an interval of these many milliseconds the first one is the uh, expression or a function and this is repeatedly called every uh, the second parameter milliseconds so how many we have second parameter is 100 that represents 100 millisecond whatever the value you display here whatever the value uh, you uh, use as a second parameter that is the a millisecond now, right now we have given it as a 100 millisecond because that is a part of the problem statement Okay, so that is the set interval. So what the set interval will do? It will call the grow text. Grow text is the function. It will call uh, the text repeatedly with the interval of 100 millisecond. How to stop that? Uh, once it starts, it will keep on calling that uh, uh, this grow text function repeatedly. How to stop it? There are two ways to do it. Either you close the window, that is one way. Second way, way is you call the clear interval method with that particular uh, variable. So my weight one is the object which is having this reference. You will call the clear interval with that particular variable uh, reference. Then it will stop ca calling repeatedly. Means it will stop it. So now we'll understand the logic with understanding of those two functions. What is the first function set interval? It will call repeatedly this function with this interval. So it will call grow text 
once that function is complete it will wait for 100 millisecond again it will call the grow text one then once the function is completed it will wait for 100 millisecond again it will call how to stop it we call the clear interval whenever we call the clear interval method this particular uh, method will stop calling repeatedly that is the uh, understanding of these two methods now we will see how uh, our problem statement is implemented inside the script this is the a starting of the script tag and this is ending of the script tag and inside i have a couple of functions declared to achieve what we wanted to do For, uh, first i have two variables okay which are global which are declared after the script so these variables are visible in all the functions variable size is equal to 10 i have set the size as a 10 and variable i is equal to 0 and third variable my weight is equal to set interval first one is the grow text one that is the this method name i will just clear here one space this is the function and 100 millisecond so these are the variable values are initialized and when it calls the grow text when the page is uh, uh, loaded the scripts will get it will get executed it will assign size 10 it will assign i is equal to 0 my weight is equal to set interval grow tag the minute it execute this it will get the reference to it and uh, it will keep on calling this function so this will call the function for the first time wait for 100 millisecond again it will call so what is the grow grow text one function we will see here uh, it starts here and this function ends here inside the function what i am doing is if size less than 51 so initially what is the value for the first time it will set terrace 10 this is zero and it this set interval has called the grow text for the first time what is the value of the size 10 10 is less than 51 the answer is true what it will do size is equal to size plus one size was 10 it will make size as 11 then you understand this document this is the the uh, uh, root uh, document uh, root object in the uh, dom tree right and it has a method called get element by id so document dot get element by id my p1 so what it will do it will get this object which is that object my p1 is the first paragraph okay get element by id once i have reference to that object dot style dot font size is equal to what was earlier it was 10 now it has become 11 pt so i have increased the size of my p1 by 11 and also I will set the color we, it has to be red right document dot get element by id my p1 so i will get that uh, first paragraph reference to that dot style dot color is equal to red now the first task is done my i have increased by one uh, size by one pt and i have set the uh, the text color as red because uh, the first text is what text growing text growing has to be red and it has to increase next after that i don't want to show the second one because first i don't want to show this text uh, shrinking when i should show the uh, uh, text shrinking after uh, the first text reaches 50 right so i have to hide it what i will do is document dot get element by id my p2 that is second paragraph once i get the reference to that object dot style dot visibility is equal to hidden so it is now uh, hidden you cannot see it that is what happens now this function is complete it will not go to the else the function is complete now the html document earlier the text was 10 now it is 11 with red color okay this method will wait for 100 millisecond after 100 millisecond again it will call the grow text one so grow text one now the what is the size 11 it will increase to 11 plus 1 12 again it will make it as this as uh, 12 this is a red then this will be again hidden when it renders that page now the text has increased to 12 and red color right 
13 14 15 16 so on the text will reach the value of a 50 right 50 less than 51 yes true the size will become now 50 plus 1 51 then it will display the size of 50 that text will be shown with the 50 red color and second paragraph hidden right now uh, that is the last point 50 now after 100 millisecond again this uh, me method is called now the size value has become 51 51 less than 51 false right 51 is not less than 51 they are equal Fif then it will go to else what is the first thing i will do clear interval my weight so whatever this uh, method was calling that is stopped then i will uh, set one more set interval my weight one i'm using the same variable reusing the variable i am saying set interval inside the bracket shrink text one that is the next method which is used for shrinking okay shrink text one and how often it should be done again 100 millisecond every 100 millisecond this method will call uh, set interval call shrink text one okay it will call until either i see a clear interval or it's the uh, end okay uh, end of the uh, closing of the window I, I did that one then next one is do document dot get element id my p1 that is i got the first paragraph element uh, reference to that object style dot visibility is equal to hidden now i don't want to show text growing right so i make this property the visibility property as hidden and uh, document dot get element id my p1 style font size is 1 pt it is it doesn't matter when you make it as a hidden it is just 1 pt you set the size next what you will do you will make the second paragraph get element by id my p2 dot style dot visibility it was hidden right earlier it was coming here it was hidden you make it as visible now it will call this shrink text one repeatedly every 100 millisecond. Now, uh, what is the size? If you remember 51, 51 is greater than five, answer is true. So size will become 51 minus one, that is 50, okay? Document dot get element ID, my P2 dot style font size. Now this particular text shrinking, I am setting the size as 50, uh, 50 pt because 51 minus 1 50 50 pt so i will see a, a text shrinking with a, a 50 pt then what i will do uh, document dot get element by id type color as blue I, I will set the color as blue so this will be displayed size as 50 pt and color as blue and once that is done after 100 millisecond again this method will be called okay now size is what 50 the size is 50 50 greater than 5 true then size is equal to 50 minus 1 49 now the size is reduced to 49 so it will keep on doing until let's say uh, the size becomes 6 so it will go uh, 49 48 47 so on uh, until it becomes uh, uh, 10 9 8 uh, 7 6 right let us say 6 6 greater than 5 answer is true it will come here size is equal to 6 minus 1 that is 5 now my p2 second paragraph size would be a 5 pt and blue in color now the value of uh, size has become 5 after 100 millisecond again this function will get called then 5 less 5 greater than 5 no it is not both are equal so it is false, it will come here. Then what I will do is I will call the clear interval, okay? Whatever the um, weight we, we had, you have to set this as a parameter for clear interval, then it will stop. Now, what has happened? First thing, we uh, uh, increase the uh, text size with the color red up to 50 pt and text was text growing and after that, once it became 50, then I started showing the text shrinking from 50 until it became a 5. So that is what happened. So now we will run this particular code. I will just save it. Program.
I'll open a new window and uh, I will open that particular folder. So program three grow shrink HTML. So you can see now it is growing. It will reach 50. Okay. Then it will start shrinking until it become five. So the reason uh, being this set as uh, when it is growing, uh, the reason being uh, it is set after making it hidden one PT is so you don't see the uh, 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 the much difference in their spaces. So you can see it again here. After it grows here, the next text is shown below. Okay. Because these are two different paragraphs. Okay. Whenever you do the refresh, again, that particular code will run and it will go back. Suppose you want to implement, uh, let us say this happens continuously. I don't want to do the refresh. Uh, continuously, it should increase, decrease, increase, decrease. What you should do? We'll go to the code. What we are doing is once the shrinking happens, right? Once the shrinking happens to five, Once the shrinking happens uh, to size becomes five, uh, we are calling the method clear interval. So what we can do is we can call the uh, this set interval again uh, to set interval to call the grow text. If I call from there, if I call uh, this method again, the same thing will continue. So if you want to see, I will just uh, I will not include it as the lab uh, program. We will have less. Uh, uh, number of code that is better so just for your demonstration purpose i will just show you how we can repeat that what i am doing once i uh, clear uh, uh, this okay the shrinking stops i will call the set interval again and i will say grow text one okay we'll see how this happens so it should go in a, a continuous loop of increasing and a decreasing I will load the page. Okay, it has increased. It has decreased. Again, it should increase. Okay, so uh, it has increased actually that visible property is set to, uh, it is made uh, hidden, right? That's why it is not able to uh, show. Now I have to make, um, I will copy this code. First paragraph should be made visible property, visibility property as visible. So document, what I did was I, I'm calling the function again, grow text. And after that, I am making it as visible. Okay. Uh, get element by ID, my P1. My P1 is text growing dot style dot visibility is equal to visible so i'm making it visible even though it is happening it is not visible now i will load the page again now it is growing now it is shrinking again it should grow so you can see now now you have put it in a like a continuous loop so until and unless you close this window it will keep on doing this because there is no provision to end that okay uh, we did not include the clear uh, interval as the uh, last statement so it is in the continuous loop that is how it is happening uh, but this is not the requirement of the statement just to learn the new things uh, we have to experiment uh, that for that reason i did that okay i will remove this particular code if you want you can when you are doing it you can experiment that so once it shrinks uh, to five we will say clear interval that is the end 